Hey everybody, I'm back to uh, Riker's Animal World and uh, I have my hood up because it's kind of chilly out, kind of, it's very chilly, but I came to discuss um, something here, um, it's a cold day, that's why I have my hood up, I have gloves on, I just got done feeding the animals, I'm actually watching my ducks right now, drink out of their water bin that I just filled up, but um, I want to talk about I want to discuss guard geese. Now, a lot of people are hesitant in buying a goose when they have chickens or ducks and they just want to throw a goose in there. Um, or they're just, you know, they just don't know about how messy they are, you know, how aggressive, right, they're going to be because uh, geese tend to, you know, geese tend to be pretty aggressive animals. Um, but yeah, I'm going over the pros of owning a guard geese. Not the pros and cons. Notice how I just said pros, right? Um, this is a very misunderstood animal. And I believe if I go over some facts with you guys that I've researched and figured out over the past month or so, um, that you guys will get a better understanding of a guard goose, uh, guard geese and why you should own one. I personally don't have one. I really want one, but I'm just going to be going over the facts and the things that I researched about guard geese. All right, well, guess who's hungry again? At least five. These guys I say five. Our other Drake left us. So it's just these five for now. Good ducks. Some good ducks here. There are multiple purposes of a goose you can have. Um, first of all, you can have a goose with... You can throw a goose in with chickens. You can throw a goose in with ducks. Um, there's not really an amount you need to be required. Um, you do need to have it with other poultry, I would say. But you don't need to buy three, four, five geese. You can have one goose with basically ducks, chickens, turkeys, whatever else you have, right? So there are a lot of purposes with uh, guard geese. Um, one of the main purposes of guard geese, as you can hear, I'll put this hood down. Um, one of the uh, great purposes for a guard goose is that they are always, excuse me, very, they're very observant animals, right? So you can't have your dog outside 24-7 looking after the poultry, especially if the poultry is actually scared of the dog, right? Your, your dog can't go up to the poultry, smell, keep a constant eye out, which is why a guard goose is extremely important for your um, homestead because what it will do is it will actually keep an eye out especially during breeding season this um they'll always keep their eye out looking at the sky looking at things if they see a dog coming up they'll start honking and being loud and they'll start uh, being aggressive even hissing at it chasing it off they're not like ducks where they're so skittish um a goose is going to defend its flock, whatever it's attached to, which would, if you dropped it in a flock with ducks, that's its new flock, right? Those are its new friends. All right, well, let's see if these ducks go in. Um, hope you're learning a little something about these uh, geese here. Um, I don't have any geese, but I hope you're learning a little something about the research I did. Um, hope you... Uh, suggest buying one but this can be difficult right here getting these ducks in it's still a little light out as you can see but when the chickens go in it's time for bed for everyone the chickens the rooster he runs things from the farm so. but the thing that i find amazing amazing about geese is that they are um they're they can be gentle yes they can be gentle um really what it comes down to geese is not the animal, but the owner. The owner is the one who um, makes the ge makes the goose attack them. Um, it's not it's not the goose. It's always going to be the owner. Um, geese are always going to defend their uh, territory, and um, if you step into the territory or you threatening it or you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing the goose will uh, attack you or kind of hiss a little bit depending on what breed you have it's not always going to attack you but during breeding season they get pretty hostile but a goose is always going to be um, 
if if you're nice to them, if they see you as a friend, always giving them food, walking away, letting them eat, they're gonna and they're gonna add you to their flock, and they're constantly going to be um, with you by your side and actually protect you from other animals. Geese are um, a very close friend. They can be a very close friend to humans. Um, I personally think there are more pros than cons in owning geese. Um, they they are they can be very helpful to your farm, even if you own cows, right? If um, some uh, depending on where you live, if war or start wolves coming in or coyotes, whatever the threat may be, these goose will start honking so loud and so obnoxiously that they'll scare off those wolves. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you um, looked at geese in a different way. Um, they can be gentle. They can be <coughs> excuse me. They can be gentle. They can be loving. Then they can also be a little aggressive, which you want to watch out for that. But they are excellent guards to the farm. Hope you guys learned a little bit, and I'll see you guys on another episode of Rikers Animal World. See you guys.